Today is the deadline for the Sacramento City Unified School District students 12 and older as well as staff members to show proof of vaccination against COVID-19, but not everyone is on board. Fox 40's Aton Wallace spoke with parents who are requesting exemptions and explains the district's plans for those who are not yet vaccinated. People trickled in to the Sacramento City Unified School District headquarters on this day, the same day the district's vaccine requirement goes into effect. You're going to be so brave. The requirement is this. Staff and all students 12 and up must have at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And one more. Exemptions are allowed, but the district will need to approve them first. Exempted students must undergo routine testing. I have a 10-year-old and a 17-year-old. Both at different schools. Father Christopher Duran came by district headquarters to submit what he referred to as a formal spiritual exemption request for his children. I just believe that I have the ability with my wife to make the decisions uh, rather than somebody tell us down our throats that this is what you're going to do. As of Tuesday morning, of the 19,272 eligible students in the district, just under a quarter were either fully or partially vaccinated, and more than three quarters were not yet vaccinated or have not reported their vaccination status. Less than 1% had exemptions. The new variants are it comes after the SCUSD board passed a resolution last month requiring all students 12 or older and staff to submit proof of either partial or full vaccination by the end of November in preparation for the next semester. Medical experts arguing this will be the best way to prevent the spread of the virus. In a statement, the district said SCUSD will begin the work of reaching out directly to those who did not file their vaccination status to guide them on the path to be compliant with a requirement by the January deadline. The district also says SCUSD will continue to offer weekly vaccination clinics and testing for students who are not yet vaccinated. After February 1st, students who are not vaccinated and who have not received an exemption will be assigned to the district's independent study program. Staff who have not complied with the mandate may face disciplinary action, including unpaid leave or loss of their jobs. This parent hopes whether to vaccinate or not to vaccinate his kids will be left to him. I should have the ability to make that decision for my children. A decision and a conversation that will continue into the next semester. In South Sacramento, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.